Welcome back for more reptiles, archery, engineering. Ladies and gents, have fun and please enjoy. Hey ladies and gents, this is Scorby here. It is now 22 minutes past 9. And I got good news, I don't need to wait for that part. It's gonna come here tomorrow, so it'll be good. And tomorrow night is the archery contest that I am looking forward to go to. But yeah, but first things first, we need to get my interceptor up and running. And so on. I was playing the um I was playing Red Dead while well, I heard the news. The part uh, for my car is going to be here overnight, so some relief, so I don't need to wait for seven days. <laughs> uh, great, that's good. So right now, hey baby boys, hmm. my gorgeous little boys, my two handsome ones. Chevy loves his chin scratch, that's why he's heads up. Hey baby boy. Hey, I know you camera shy, I know. Hey. <laughs> hey baby boy. Stumpy is a boy, not a girl, but as you can see the bulge on the end of the, uh, on the stove, the tail of, like behind the legs. When you see a bulge, that's a boy. When you see a fin tail, that's a girl. I'm sorry I touched your backside, Stumpy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my little one. Stumpy's three years old. On February, about a couple months back. And I'm happy he's three years old. When I first got him, he was about nine months old. Yeah, he's big three years old and he's actually a mature male. And he foot. Chevy was a female because the look of him, but Chevy is a male. He's old. But yeah. Hey baby boy. Hey. Hey Chevy. Chevy's gummy on the like front of the bottom jaw. Because when he was a little and Charlie was still alive. Charlie used to grab him by the front of the jaw and <laughs> they was flying over the, uh, one big cricket. They was flying over the cricket. She grabbed him by the bottom jaw and ripped his front bottom teeth out. That's why you can see the little tongue sticking out because he, he's just, yeah. But right now, Chevy's my oldest boy. Sometimes he's camera shy and sometimes he's not. Come here, big boy. Come on. Let me put you up there. There you go. Hey, that's my boy. So after they wake up a little bit more, it's about. 10 or 11 o'clock we feed them. It is good news um, that part will be here overnight so my car will be back up and run not seven days from now. But that that's pretty good. I don't need to wait that long so oh big relief. Big freaking huge relief. Because when I was coming back from archery on Sunday it just shut down on me. It was like, and no sound. I was like pushing the foot pedal, and I, I was wondering what was going on. And it was, like, and it just died on the highway. I was on top of the hill, like on an angle, and I parked there. And I called my dad. We picked it up with the car, in the car float bring it back home, put it in the driveway, 
and that happened on Sunday morning about 11 12 I got stuck and the time we got back home that was about two two three o'clock in the afternoon because oh, far out it was one difficult part of pushing the freaking car because it did not have any power so yeah but luckily my dad brought the new part for my car so that is good oh thank god yeah, my, my dad actually saved my car's life, so, yeah, but the scariest thing was, um, when it doesn't run and you get worried about your own car, well, yeah, some people say, uh, you know, electric cars are, is, is a really good thing, but no, nope, they are not a really good thing, they are uh, a... A living driving bomb they explode plus battery acid it can kill the wildlife even if it's not really good to breathe because the battery acids really ugh, really toxic but yeah it is raining outside right now so no going outside, it's all inside today. <sighs> Far out. And this rain came here about, I can't remember what my mum said, about early in the morning or late in the afternoon yesterday. But yeah. The, the skies was clear yesterday afternoon, but. <sighs> Far out. See, so, yeah, I'll be back at archery tomorrow afternoon, so it'll be good. If it's going to be sunny tomorrow morning, I might do a lot of practice before the big event tomorrow afternoon. Hopefully, it's going to be absolutely good, but yeah. Look at the dark clouds. Far out. That is not good at all. <laughs> this rain came late. It was beautiful and sunny. It, it was beautiful and sunny yesterday afternoon. I remember that quite well, but yeah, this rain came out of nowhere. Literally. So I am going to just relax for the whole day inside. <laughs> There's nothing I can do when it's raining. Well, today is feeding time for my boys, so that's one thing I can do. But that's the only thing I can do. Literally, I got no traveling to archery or to the um, store to get myself fizzy drink for the fridge. I can even do that. I always travel in my car. I don't like big cars because sometimes I can't steer, uh, steer the steering wheel that well in big cars. But yeah, my car is the right car for me. So that's that. That's cool. Plus, Easter was absolutely exciting but the thing is if I eat chocolate my nose is gonna sneeze and I get stomach cramps but yeah I have to live with it if I have to have an antihistamine I will but there's something in the chocolates uh, on my stomach and my nose doesn't like it's the chemical in the chocolate so yeah, I'm, I'm not really positive about chocolate. I'd rather eat licorice than chocolate because licorice, I don't sneeze or have stomach aches from that. But yeah. 
Man, it's really drizzly outside anyway. Far out. Oh well. Luckily my car will be running today. Well, tomorrow I mean. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Oh yeah. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Uh, far out. It's all about age. <laughs> I'm nearly to my 30s, I'm, I'm only turning 29 this year, but next year I'll be 30, so, <sighs> yeah, still being single, it sucks, but, yeah, I'll get used to it, it's, it's still raining, but lightly sprinkled, not heavy like earlier where you can hear the rain hitting the roof that hard earlier you can actually hear it through here and not through the window you can actually hear it from here so that's how loud it is that is just nuts and this rain wasn't here yesterday but it arrived about early yesterday afternoon about 12 1 o'clock I don't know but yeah so right now I'm gonna play Red Dead still and I'll see you guys when these two wake up a little bit longer then I can actually um, feed them today it's their feeding time today anyway and wherever they are hungry, they lick the glass, or wherever they see the mealworms or superworms sitting here, they go along here nuts. They, they run along here, they go back and forth, rubbing their nose across the glass. That is really disgusting, I have to clean their boogers out. That's one big snot right there, where my finger's pointing. Not you, Stumpy. <laughs> Where your snot is. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. That part will be arriving tomorrow, so my car will be back on the road. Hopefully it doesn't break down on me again. It's got power, but somehow it's not running. So right now, I'll see you guys probably later when it's feeding time and then let's feed these dragons and then try and find something to do before I go nuts. I got nothing to do today except sitting around watching TV or playing the PS4. The PS4 is making me bored, literally. I'd rather be at archery, shooting targets, being active. Yeah, it gets to that way, but yeah, my shots is really good. So, I'll see you guys later, till then. I gotta figure something out. Alright ladies and gents, it is now time for the Bear Dragon's feeding time. Plus I got myself an iced coffee as well. It's homemade, not um, store brought. I think homemade is more better taste than store brought because it's just, it's got more coffee in it than just vanilla and coffee. <laughs> I'm not a vanilla latte kind of person, I'm a coffee kind of person. I love coffee, but can't drink it all the time. So right now, I gotta give my beer dragons their food, mealworms, superworms, parsley, and basil. It's, it says on their diet list anyway. Hey big boy. I know, I know, you didn't want to go back to bed, I know that. Getting cool for the you know, for your boys, hey. Okay, there's a fresh one right there. 
So I need to get the cleaning bag out and the scooper. Move that out of the way because it's a pain in the ass. My old camera stand, sorry about that. So let me clean this up. Then let's feed my boys. Now tomorrow the new part will be arriving and that's good. I can get my car started. And if it doesn't start, well there's something wrong with my car. Alright, that's scooped up. Open up the bag. When this bag gets full, then I throw in the bin. This is a just a normal shopping bag. One of those plastic ones, not those paper ones. Plastic. All right, that's done. They can go under there. And the scoop can go under there as well, so. Bingo. So right now, it's my boy's feeding time. It's okay, Chevy, don't go back to bed. It's feeding time for you to. Come on. Sherry, what's the problem? <laughs> oh. Come on, Sherry. Come on. It's, it's sleep time, you need to eat something before the cold days, hey? Come on, Chevy. Oh my god, do I have to feed you again? What's this? Don't fake that. Come on. Eat something, baby boy. Come on. So, I'll let you guys watch these two. Till then, Chevy's not feeling like himself. But, Stumpy's eating. That's quite good, so... I'll leave it like that. But yeah. It's sleep time for these two. They get cold through the nights, even through the day. Um, but these kind of nights and days right now, they are pretty warm. Don't know why. But when it's warm like this, they don't go to sleep that well. <laughs> they want to stay awake and be active and stuff. Yeah. Come on, Chev. Come on, Stump. Eat, sink. Yeah, I know the camera's watching you too. Come on. So yeah, um, it's sleep time for these two. Because it's autumn, the second month of autumn. And it's only the second day of um, April. April Fool's... Um, let me say, did not go very really well yesterday. Um, the news said April Fool's is a dangerous thing. How is it a dangerous thing? It's about jokes and pranks. It's not dangerous at all. What the fuck? So, that is all the bullshit. <laughs> Stumpy's got a piece of green oil in his mouth. <laughs> Come on, Chevy, eat something. He's he's not he's not like himself today. Don't know why. And Chevy's just 
I don't know what's wrong with him. He doesn't want to eat now. That that makes me worried anyway. If he doesn't eat, he gets a little bit sick. Uh, he's going back to bed. Okay, hey, you want to go back to bed, Chevy? Come on. Bugger that. I served you good food and you just want to waste it, eh? Come on, go back to bed if you want. Okay, it's up to you. Go on, Stubby, get your foot out of the food. Well, luckily Stumpy ate something that's good. How many worms are left? Not that much. Holy shit. <laughs> so, yeah, there's not that much um, sour worms left because Stumpy held into it. Okay. I forgot I left it. I left this out. So I need to pick all the worms out and put them in the bowl. Come here, fucking wiggly shit. <laughs> So yeah, um, this house has a problem, it has a leaking pipe and the real estate's not doing anything about it. And wherever we have a shower or bath, the water pressure goes really low and there's not that much water come through it. And this is not good at all, so yeah. Um, not good. Alright, that's all the old worms, so let me put it in the bin. Let me put them in there. That's good. I'm going to put those in the fridge. Come on, stop. That's my boy. That's my boy. Copy. That's my boy. Hey. <laughs> Not in the spot where the grass comes from. <laughs> to his baby boy. Come on. Up there. Up there. <laughs> he wants to be a lazy boy now. Oh, come on. It's okay. So, yeah, my boys are really excited little reptiles. Little dragons, I mean. It, they are more better than snakes, and I think lizards are more better to look after than snakes, because whatever the snakes do their shit, they smear it on the back glass, or the front glass, or the sides, even through the vent. So, no snakes for me. Far out. They are more messier than friggin' lizards. Lizards, they do a long log that is solid and they do it in one spot and that's it. That is complete. So right now, that's their feeding time done. I need to find something else to do and then that's that. Till then, tomorrow the new part will be arriving for my car so I will drive my car again, finally. 
and then that's that. My dad's trying to find work so he can actually work a lot because yeah. So right now my boys are relaxing. Now their heads are over here. So right now, I'll see you guys later. Till then, I need to find something else to do than sit on my backside. So I'll see you guys later. Okay, I'm outside. You know, I'm at the park right now, just you know, seeing if there's any animals going by. Right now, it's just ain't quiet. It's absolutely dead silent anyway. So right now, it's sunny right now, so that's a good thing. Now, do we got any animals out here? There's the carders. One of those beers that make the noise. There's only the cocoons. And we've got a spot whip. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. The shells of the cicadas. What is beyond here anyway? Let's put that back on. Cars. That's a fucking a lot of noise. Eight. No, seven. Okay. So right now, the water has come up here when it was raining a lot last night. The rivers are still pretty full right here. This is all the debris from the river. All fucking laid down. I wonder if there's any reptiles around here because I haven't seen any. Well, the sign back there on the footpath it says that there's turtles here. So, might or not? There's enough snakes here as well. I really fucking hate it. We get ghost gum. There's shredded gum, uh, gum bark. That's called a ghost gum. There's shaggy kind of gum, uh, gum on it. And a fucking shaggy bark. So yeah, now where's the walk path to, to the fucking river anyway? Because people always walk to the river to go fishing. There is a lot. I might have a look. So if there's a way to the river, let's walk down there. Well, ladies and gents, there was nothing at the park. The sign on the bridge says there's long neck, uh, there's river turtles, like long neck turtles. Uh, European carp that should not be there in the first place. It, there's a whole of very fantastic animals that you have to see one day but yeah i was trying to find the path to go onto the bank near the river but there's none you have to go through the mangroves to get to the 
um, like the dirt bill of the river. It's just really hard to figure out why there's European carp there. Don't know, don't know why, and don't know. I don't really care, but yeah. So right now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow the part will be arriving, hopefully. If not, well, someone told my dad bullshit. Well, yeah, my dad brought it anyway. So if that part arrives tomorrow, we're back on the road trip. My hair looks like a fucking bird's nest. <laughs> And literally, it is just, yeah, one of the things you have to look out for is your hair frizzing up like no man's business. My hair is shiny anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. But right now, the time is, um, oh shit, 15.29. Uh, to 15.30 yeah, well it's 15.29 right now so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys loved it and I watched the funniest freaking pile of time on this video today where his best friend Snake nearly bit his finger and his face was hilarious literally it was a laugh and his eyeballs were like <laughs> really popping out of his own head when the snake nearly bit his what is it this finger uh, like the ring finger and he, his eyeballs were like nearly bulging out, out of his own head of fuck's sake <laughs> oh geez, that was funny uh, so yeah when my car is up around tomorrow hopefully We'll go for a road trip. Well, to archery. I want to do some practice before tomorrow night. Because tomorrow night is the contest and I don't want to miss it. Literally. It is the best thing of all. Doing nighttime shooting is the most freaking awesome thing. You have to use your senses, hearing, and sight it's just far out it's the, it's the best skill of all because if you go hunting at night time you have to have these kind of senses to know where the animal are and where the animal is in front of you in the pitch black so that's why I'm learning so I'm going there early to do some practice and yeah might f film myself shooting the targets in uh, about 18 meters so I'll see you guys next time till then I'll see you guys tomorrow morning or tomorrow midday when my car is up and running and then let's go to the archery do some practice before night time so it'll be good hopefully it'll be absolutely awesome anyway because the way my car is yesterday and on Sunday not really good because I don't know what happened it just shut down on me and far out it, it still drives but one part actually stopped the whole car. I had to stop on top of the hill so I can roll down in, onto the flatbed car trailer so it be going home in one piece. So, yeah. So I'll see you guys next time. Till then, I'll see you guys tomorrow midday when my car's up running and we go to archery then let's have some fun and get some shots done and do all that so 
I'll see you guys next time. Till then, peace for now. Get over here.